we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gunn here in the booth with, as always, Charles Davis. Charles, a lot of times in the open, we focus on quarterbacks, running backs. What about the tight ends in this one? Well, I think LR identified it really well because the tight ends are matchup nightmares nowadays. Who are you going to cover them with? Because really, they are pumped up wide receivers who can flat out run and use them some seven. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. For the AFC champion New England Patriots, here are the starters on the defensive side. Well, they will be retooled in 2018, but still some familiar faces. Trey Flowers, a defensive end, their best pass rusher. Dante Hightower, injury. The New England Patriots on the field. Well, five Super Bowl rings will have to be enough, at least for now. The crazy thing is that you know this as this game progresses, because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways, because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can first down. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tied the 10 to the 9. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another in. Touchdown, New England. A great play. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense contact just as he's trying to haul it in. There are certain drives in a game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment. This is one of those drives. Offensive struggle for sure, but they get the something we should underestimate because just getting points on the board can sometimes have a settling effect on a team. Helps them start their comeback. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. <laughs> Cordero Patterson, the 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Cordero Patterson. Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. I know you're trying not to scoreboard watch, but you only got three points. You're kind of hoping that that type of play there gives you some positive momentum going into the half. Yeah, I need to do something to get more than that three number that they have on the scoreboard right now. It's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it's second down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. All right, Brandon, back to you and Charles in a bit. First, let's get you caught up on all the highlights from the first half. The Chiefs are down right now they have to feel like they're still in it. The Patriots have been the better team, though, and will try to maintain the lead in the second half. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now, early in the first quarter, it's Tom Brady with the completion over the middle, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the 37-yard line. Patriots have it later on the drive. They'll go with the run here. And he counts off the seven-play drive with the score. As they get out to a 7-0 lead. We go now to early in the second. Hunt's got the catch here. And he'll be tackled down inside the 20 at the 17. Chiefs would later kick the field goal. Now to late in the second. It's Mahomes finding his Pro Bowl tight end, Travis Kelsey. And he'll make it out to the 34-yard line. However, they only come away with a field goal on the drive. So that'll do it for us. Larry, as
as always, it is a frenzied atmosphere inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. They get ready to head on the field. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. He goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. 14 yards. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get in. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. For 20. This one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like... Brady going to throw here. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock gets all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much touchdown to put things away. No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. partner Charles Davis and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.